Hello my dear friends hope you are all fine today and now i am going to be informal in my approach to develop a direct interaction with you to develop a direct communication with you in the recent past youtube has introduced podcasts as an opportunity for me to communicate with my audience directly in this podcast episode i will not be formal as i have been in presenting my video lessons on different topics the purpose of this podcast episode is to share my experiences of life is to enrich your experiences with different aspects of struggles that we face in our day to day life so i would like to share some of my best experiences that is to say how i started youtube channel actually it all started during the time of corona that we all had to go through unpredictable challenges and circumstances we were not prepared for this type of epidemic suddenly the world came to a halt the universities were closed the schools were closed most of the offices and institutions were closed and people did not know how to respond with this but then somehow we managed to deal with the epidemic and we organized ourselves in a way in a better way that was possible to carry on the day to day activities so it so happened that the university was closed and we were instructed by the university to deliver lesson online at first i was very nervous i did not have any prior experience of teaching online i never recorded my voice before and uploaded on any social network site i was also not technically smart i was not very comfortable with multimedia or the use of multimedia in the classroom i had the content i had the ideas and i was confident but i carried all these tools in the traditional classroom where i stood used the blackboard or whiteboard and taught my students explained ideas to them had direct interaction with them i had no problem as such but when the university was closed and we were all advised to carry on the lessons online this put me in a very difficult position i was not happy at all i did not know how to start but anyway we had to follow the instruction we had to carry on the life and so the teaching was a part of our life and it had it had to be moved on so i remember the first lesson which i prepared for my youtube channel was in microsoft word format i just wrote the texts and i read that text out and explained the idea and recorded it and uploaded to my youtube channel i did not like in the way i executed the whole of my lesson it did not impress me myself but i thought i should face the challenges i decided i should not go back from the challenging moment a task has been assigned to me to teach online i must learn some techniques i must know how to use multimedia and then slowly myself without any help from outside began to learn some techniques how to use multimedia how to present lessons online and then i remember slowly i began to be comfortable with the new technology that is being now widely used for online classes i remember that after a few video lessons which i presented on microsoft word i learned the art of presenting lessons online and my consistent effort brought some fruits gave me some hope and in due course of time i don't know when i began to present beautiful lessons through powerpoint and began to present my ideas in a much better way in a more effective manner with the help of both visuals and audio somehow i felt that i was improving though i was learning and i don't know how people the audience the students the viewers and the readers began to like some of my video lessons after that i realized that there was no looking back the channel has now already on a good course of progress and hope my sincere efforts my consistency in presenting ideas continue to benefit you in future as well thank you very much